All right, so this is a battle report between uh, dwarves and beastmen. Now, the last time I played against dwarves with beastmen, it was okay. Uh, the beastmen won slightly, but they won, right? Because I was playing against an opponent that, you know, and then it was a good fun battle, playing against an opponent that actually, uh, you know, wanted to play the game for what it's, what, it's, what it's made to be. Well, not this time. This dwarf player, this dwarf player, he knows how to castle. And when I say he knows how to castle, that's not him staging his army. That's him, that's his deployment. That is his deployment. Take him in. Remember, when you're, when you're, when you're getting down with your lady, just have a picture in your mind with this guy's face. And, th and that's why, and then that's why I call him Nasty Nate. Because it's just, his, his, his face sears it. His face is seared in your mind. Yep. So, um, my plan was to um, survive. Um, and, I, and, and for some reason, um, well, you'll see. Um, my plan was to survive and, and try to at least just get a, get a draw. Just give him a draw and, and, and at least go up in the tables. You know what I mean? And no, no. See, see I, I already messed up. I couldn't do that because I already messed up my deployment right there. You see how my gore is sitting behind that rock and my, my, my minotaur kind of out in the open? Um, down there on the far left corner is a hill. That hill is like that orange looking hill. That's a hill, okay? I should have put my entire arm behind that hill and then went and got a couple of beers and then just drank beer as he floundered about trying to get to, to actually kill my army. That's what I should have done, but I didn't do that. That, that was my intention, but I didn't do that. I, I deployed stupid. And, and I deployed so stupid that one of the judges walks by and he's like, Oh, um, your gore, did you, did you mean for them to be behind that, that giant rock? And I was like, thanks, thanks a lot. You, you made me feel better. Uh, and that was the judges. Because even the judges, they, 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 don't like, they don't like the castling dwarf army. They, they hate it. And uh, they were like, there we go again. You know what I mean? There he goes again. And uh, he does move his gyrocopters forward. Um, my plan is to try to kill the gyrocopters and then just sit back and relax. But, uh, yeah, that's my plan here. And uh, not even worry about going around to the rest of the army. Just trying to get a 100-point victory, right? And, it just, and then, you know, because he pushed those gyrocopters forward like that. So I'm like, oh. Just take the gyrocopters and then you can get a victory instead of getting the draw, which I still should have. I still should have played for the draw. And if you get, if you gave me the victory with the gyrocopters, take that and then walk away. I mean, I could have even probably uh, could have done better than just to have the the, uh, the gore where they were and just move the Minotaur back behind the hill and just leave them there for the, the duration of the game. But for some reason, I like to see the Doom Bull run run around killing stuff. Uh, not realizing uh, how cheesy the dwarves have been built now and how much of a power creep army they really are. Uh, so I, uh, that was dumb. Um, and as you can see, I lost... Uh, uh, I don't know what's back there. I think I lost a couple Minotaur um, due, due to his shooting, his, um, his rock lava. I think it might have been a cannon that actually killed those two. And here's a missing picture. Um, I think the, um, what happened here? Oh, yes. He moved the gyrocopter behind my lines. Um, I'm going to move my actual pig back there uh, to, uh, to, hit the, to keep the gyrocopter moving. But on hindsight, I think I changed my mind and decided to do something else. Uh, and then he moved his other gyrocopter behind the rock. So that kept that gyrocopter safe from the Minotaur, um, which I didn't really want the Minotaur out there anyway. But look how stupidly I moved. I moved closer to the Minotaur to, to, to uh, hamstring myself even further. Oh my goodness. 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 I didn't want to watch. I didn't want to make this battle report just because I knew that I was going to see myself doing uh, dumb stuff over and over and over again. All right. I don't, I don't know. I think this is a picture out of order, but... Um, that was him moving the gyrocopter. I think that was another angle of him moving his gyrocopters that first turn. Um, hmm. 
Oh, just looking back on this battle, it, it really pisses me off to no end. Um, so, I don't know what I was thinking this entire battle, now that I'm looking at it. I don't know, it was just like a gremlin or something like that, and controlling my body or something? I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. Oh my goodness, it's terrible. Uh, yeah. And I, moved, I did move the Cinegor out, out into the, the, the right because I wanted to charge that gyrocopter. And um, I moved the, uh, actually on the bottom left, you probably don't see it in the picture, but I actually moved the war pigs. So just in case he wanted to move the other direction, the war pigs would catch him. So he, he kind of got stuck behind that rock that the uh, gyrocopter did. And um, my plan is to kill the gyrocopters and take those points and then walk away. That was the original plan. I keep saying this over and over and over again. I want I want to reiterate how far I deviated off the plan, off the road. Uh, so when you see the end result, you'll point and laugh at me the next time you see me. Yep. Uh, but I did get a charge off on the gyrocopter. Uh, he decided to take the charge from, from the uh, Senegor. I guess he's, I don't think he either, either he didn't know how hard Senegor actually can hit or how well my magic could actually uh, complement them. But I, I got the charge off, um, and then my magic phase I got off uh, plus one strength, plus one toughness. Weissen's wild form on so their strength, uh, strength plus, plus one strength, plus one toughness uh, for the, uh, the, the, uh, the Centigore. Uh So they, sh they should take care of this uh, gyrocopter uh, quite half-handedly, actually. Uh, they did roll for, uh, they rolled for their drunkenness and they got stubborn, so they're really drunk, it, and it's probably the reason why my arm was all messed up because uh, they were drinking dwarven brew, and uh, it it, uh, it it screwed with them real bad. It it must have been spiked with like cocaine or crack or something. And in my magic phase, I turn around my main unit and shoot his gyrocopter down with my magic. Yep. And what should have happened here was as soon as that happened, I should have moved the gore backwards, well, moved them directly forwards to get away from the shooting or at least spread them out, move them backwards, and then the following turn, spread them out into a long line so that, you know, rock lobbers can't do really any damage to them. That's what I should have done, and uh, it, it would have worked out a whole lot better. Um, but, yep, there's the dead gyrocopter. And right then, at that point, I was actually winning. Right then, at that point, I was winning the game because this gyrocopter was going to die to the Syndigore, and if I just done the smart thing and walked away I would have won this game but I didn't I did the dumb thing I got greedy because at this point he actually started trying to move because he had to move because at this point he saw that he was losing he needed to make points up so he had to move so what I should have done was pulled back so it would have taken him longer to get to me so maybe by turn 6 he would have gotten to his first charge that's what I should have done but I didn't. But, um, yeah. Uh, here's the Ungor down here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, they're really not doing anything. They're doing the smart thing. I should have had them, you know, hiding behind that rock, too. and the, the, Everybody hiding behind that, that, that mount, that, that hill. Because at this tournament, um, hills block line of sight, period. And that hill was pretty big. And I didn't. It, that's just something I do all the time like I don't take advantage of the terrain that's on the field and I need to start doing that um, I didn't really do I need to start looking at the terrain on the field and taking advantage of it uh, because I'm not doing it and it's, it's 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 kicking my butt but there's the dead gyrocopter so at that point when I killed that gyrocopter those Senegor were frenzied they had to overrun and then they weren't frenzied once they stopped their overrun and then he would have charged them and then I would have fled and I would just keep flying into the end of the game. That's what should have happened. Oh well, hindsight is twenty twenty. But this this video is more for me to actually look back at what I did wrong at, at this particular tournament and how I actually fell from table one down to like mid of the middle of the pack. Um. So uh, yeah. Um, and as you can see here, he's hit, he's, he's uh, disintegrated that uh, the Minotaur unit quite severely from uh, shooting, uh, mostly from cannons, because uh, he's always able to see one of them. 
and he was just kept on shooting them until uh, pretty much only had like uh, my BSB left, which sucked. Uh, here I probably, I should have probably fled. Instead of regrouping, turning them around and going deeper into his army, I should have actually fled. Or I should have just walked, uh, ran the Senegor back towards the hill and gotten behind the hill and uh, forced him to come come to uh, the fights I wanted him to come to, or at least forced him to try to make charges he couldn't have made. made. I, I should have done that. Here's a, a missing picture here. <clears throat> um, I believe this picture is uh, the Minotaur is moving out from behind the rock and the sorcerer, um, well, and I, I missed um, Pit of Shades uh, a couple of times during this uh, missing picture. So when I see uh, uh, my opponent deploying like this, uh, my cue is going to, that's going to be my cue to hide and uh, accept the draw because uh, my armies are not built to um, dance uh, or run through things. It's, they're meant to run into things and hit them. And if they can't do that job, then I'm not going to force it. And, that, you know, and uh, here's a picture of the Senegal going into close combat with that unit. Uh, his lord and everybody else is in that unit, so they're, 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 they're going to be destroyed. And uh, further, further, further throwing me back and, uh, to uh, losing 